Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully this message finds you in good favor and that you are doing well on your journey. And if you feel you aren't, of course my intention today is to grab a word from the divine to help inspire you to continue to move forward on your journey. I want to get into a general read for you. And of course anything you need from me can be found down below in the description box. So let's see what messages Spirit has for us for this weekend or that we just need to know about. Um... And this message will definitely be um, for all signs. I feel like some sort of truth um, is about to um, come through as well. Um, this could be um, involving many different individuals. I feel like it could possibly also be about how abundant you are being viewed as at this present time. Um, whether you feel like you're that or not, whether you feel like you're on your way to that. But like I definitely feel like some truth is about to be um, revealed. <laughs> Ace of Swords. <laughs> so um, the Ace of Swords um, is coming out. Okay. Starting off strong. Oh, love to see that with the Nine of Cups. Look at that. The truth is being really truly revealed about some form of wish fulfillment. Some some success, Pisces, that you are seemingly having. Definitely. Um with the strength. Uh -huh, Empress. What's this Ace of Swords? Three of Wands. Mm. Nine of Cups. The Chariot. I feel like people are finally realizing the truth. I, I feel like people are finally realizing the truth. And like, I feel like the, the truth is something, something belongs to you. Especially with the chariot. This is some, this is something that definitely belongs to you. Um, possibly some energy coming back towards you or you're definitely moving towards something. Queen of Pentacles, you're moving towards some sort of abundance, some form of stability, um, something that really truly seems to put you in a space where you will seemingly um, enjoy um, some form of wish fulfillment. This has definitely been something that you've been working on, something that you've been desiring. Okay, strength and this Empress. Mm, two of Pentacles. With the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. A tower. Definitely changes that, that, that were needed. I feel like you definitely knew it was time for you to start pouring back into yourself. Um, time for you to start giving... giving to yourself. I feel like for you, um, this was definitely um, a drastic change, but like, I feel like it was definitely a shock to um, many other vid and many other individuals, um, at least two, at least two other individuals, especially with the five of cups. I feel like there is a lot of disappointment um, in the energy, um, king of wands. So definitely, um, hmm, why are the king of wands falling out spirit with this tower? Uh, King of Cups, there goes the two. So this King of Cups as well as this King of Wands, I feel like both of them are um, in the same mentality. Both of them seemingly look disappointed. You know, I feel like there is definitely um, an energy that is um, attached to you. Um, seemingly where people... This is definitely this is definitely giving no contact vibes. I definitely don't feel like the, these are individuals um you are talking to at this present time. What's the consultation spirit? Four wands. It's about your successes. 
It seems, yeah, as I said, somebody is like really talking about the milestones that you are achieving, that you are, are reaching. This is this is burdensome to a lot of people. I feel like this has um, inserted a lot of conflict within a lot of people's energy as well. I feel like also there were projections that were projected towards you from a group of people. I feel like it's backfiring. Four of Wands. King of Swords. Four of Swords. People feel like you are also holding holding back, you know, some form of truth. Some form of things that are going on with you. I feel like there are also people in your energy who are wondering why you possibly haven't spoken up about the things they've done. Because I feel like you po you possibly have some platform to do it. You possibly have a platform to do it. And like, I feel like these people are waiting for that moment. <laughs> I feel like people are, these people are waiting for that moment with the four of um, coins at the bottom of the deck. I feel like people are like almost um, embracing for impact. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. People want to approach you. I feel like this is something definitely they that they are they are methodical about their approach. They feel like you definitely are guarded. Eight of Swords. Uh I feel like this person this knight of pentacles feels restricted or there's individuals in your energy who feel restricted the ten of swords is still at the bottom um of the deck i don't feel like this is imprisonment you know you know with you in any way i feel like people are just restricted um out of your energy with the seven of wands people feel like they are restricted there are boundaries here there are rules, regulations. I feel like this bothers somebody. Because like I feel like at one one point in time somebody had total access. They don't. They don't. These are individuals who have don't have access anymore. Access denied, okay? With the hangman, they feel stuck. I'm hearing Robin Fix lost without you. Can't help myself. How does it feel? Mm. Okay. With the two of wands. Some they feel stuck because they can't approach you. Two of wands, they can't go forward with what has been planned. What other messages are important, Spirit? This Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. Seven of Cups. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles, three of swords. Nine, nine could be significant. Ninety-nine, rather. Nine, nine, nine is also significant. Okay. Hmm. Why the nine of swords? The Knight of Swords. Okay. Queen of Cups. I don't feel like somebody is um, confident with some form of approach right now. Okay. I feel like you are in some abundant space. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you've been garnering and working on some form of stability. Um, I, that form of stability also had to do um, with the feminine trait more so attracting it towards you. Um, especially with this Queen of Cups as well. Mm. What else, Spirit? Two of Cups. I feel like something's coming back to you, some form of connection. I feel like in a lot of ways, um, this time is meant for you to understand yourself in many different avenues, many different perspectives, many different ways. I feel like it's also meant to um, hone you as an individual, um, make you more intelligent in the way you move when you manifest things with the way your emotions um, are as well. And especially with the way you think as well. OK, 
there's almost like a changing, like a unionship with the seven of pentacles, growth. Growing, continuing to grow, continuing to prosper. Okay. Um, Ace of Pentacles. I'm also hearing uh, maturing. There's something specific about maturing, not growing up, maturing, um, and learning lessons. With this page of Pentacles, learning. Um, I feel like you learned how to garner some for some sort of stability. I feel like at one point in time, this may have been an issue for you. I feel like there's a lot of things that you learned learned through some form of struggle. OK, I feel like there was some form of maturing that that needed to be done. OK. But page of Pentacles, they give me mature anyway. They give me mature kids, you know. Um, Ace of Cups as well. So someone wanting to, you know, create. I feel like this Ace of Cups was all your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your desires. I feel like you wanted to create something. So I feel like with this Page of Pentacles, you you offered you offered that up. Um, you put it you put it all together with this magician at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you went into manifestation mode. Fight or flight is also what I'm hearing. Page of Wands. You started to create, okay? You started to create. You started to give offers. I feel like this page with this Ace of Cups offered this page of wands, some form of ingredient, you know, something that you needed in order to jumpstart something, in order to get something going, okay? Let's see. Spirit, what else? Five of Pentacles. I feel like you at one point in time you were without something for a minute. With the star, something you needed. Okay. I feel like through some form of connectivity, through also some form of healing, through some sort of change. Okay. I feel like you began to understand something. I feel like you awoke into something as well. Woke into the real realization that there were things that you wanted to do, things that you wanted to create. And like, I feel like with this page of wands to this five of um, pentacles, you know, this sort of struggle, this sort of change, this thing that you learn from this five of pentacles, I feel like it's about to grow. It's about to expand. Okay. With the magician still wanting to show itself. Something is in works. Something is also getting ready to um, change. Uh, with the sun I feel like there was something realized here Some sort of potential um, Something that also may have been um, Hidden away from you um, Stored in some memory bank almost As if it was meant for you to um, Forget it into a certain point of time In life With the high priestess Something you remembered Something significant um, Something very um, important Okay with the four swords, this gave you a moment to really consider and really think of something. Something you remembered, okay, um, began to reveal itself, began to show itself. Something that for, uh, you know, maybe five years. So, something that was hidden from you for a while is now presenting itself to you through some form of thinking. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what else? Mm, five of wands okay with the page of swords let's see what else spirit the magician mm -hmm. the number five five fifty five is very significant Grounding back up to, to the number 10, okay? I feel like somebody's finally in a space where there's almost some form of surrender. I feel like someone's changing what possibly may have been conflict, that something may have been, you know, something that may have been projected. Because what's this five of pentacles? I mean, five of wands, spirit. Yeah, so three of swords as well as the will of fortune um, in reverse. I feel like there was somebody um in your energy who possibly, you know, was wanting to bring about some sort of that painful ending to what you 
are creating, what you're wanting to build, what you're wanting to manifest. I feel like this possibly were the thoughts, as I said, with this three of swords to this will of fortune in reverse, something really didn't work out. And like, I feel like it was very destructive to you. I feel like even though you're out of that space, I feel like sometimes the mentality, you know, and the mental space specifically, this bothers you. And I feel like you find a way to use it. You find a way to change this conflict into some sort of abundance. Okay. What else spirit with this magician? Three of cups. Okay. Three of Cups spirit with the Eight of Pentacles. As I said, like you, you master some inner working of the dealings with th um, third parties, people outside of yourself. I feel like you've mastered ways to change the energy with the Ace of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you are about to bring something into existence that, you know, people try to use against you. And somebody's about to get the last laugh is what I'm hearing. Okay. With the Ten of Swords. Okay. And the moon at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck as well. Now, the number 88 could definitely be significant as well. One thing that is going to remain consistent in these readings is endings. Okay. Okay. Definitely endings, but endings that are inspired. They're inspired actions. King of Pentacles. Ending things in order to become with the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is within the confines of some very abundant energy. And I hope that begins to work for you. Hey, you guys, that was the reading. Um, hopefully this message resonates with you in some way, shape, form or fashion. And you're able to take something from it that you can use. If you need anything from me, you can find those details down below in the description box. And as always, remember to conquer this day. Bye, guys.